Hello friends, <clears throat> in this video, uh, I'm going to show how to use Pythagoras theorem to find the sides of a right angle triangle. So you should know if I th uh, the Pythagoras theorem, so I'll draw a right angle triangle. Suppose it's a right angle triangle. And if this is say, if this side is A, this side is B, and this side is C, the length of this is the hypotenuse. This, this side, the long, this is called the, this side has a special name. Uh, it is called hypotenuse. And this is the longest side. So, this is the longest side, and this is the right angle. Okay. So, the Pythagoras theorem, we can prove there are, there are hundreds of, or a number of proofs of Pythagoras theorem. We are not proving it you can prove in different ways okay so the proof is the result is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared that means if you add the squares of the sides forming the right angle that will always be equal to the square of the hypotenuse okay or from this you can say C is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. If you want to remove the square, you have to find, you have to take the square root of both sides. So if you take the square root of a square, in fact, what happens if you're taking square root, okay, let me explain. So if you take square root of this side, you have to take the square root of this side. And the square of a square, the square root of a square the square will get cancelled. So C is equal to square root of A squared plus B squared. Just like that. Okay. Now you can make... Okay, I'll come to that later. So yeah, in this case, we can say, using this formula, can I say, let me use a different color, green color. Can I say C squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared? You may think, why didn't I write 4 squared plus 3 squared? You can write. doesn't make any difference because you're adding them. So you can add two numbers in any order. doesn't make any difference. So C, so let us do without the calculator. So C squared is 9 plus 16. So the C squared is 25. So C, or you can say square root of C squared, is equal to square root of pi squared okay and square and square root are opposite of each other so you can say c is equal to pi just like that okay let me use a different color here which color would be good so let me use a black color here okay or red so here i can say c squared is 20 squared plus 15 squared so I don't want to use a calculator. So C is 20 squared is 20 times 20, which is 400. And 15 times 15 is 225. We should be knowing. So C squared is 625. And I know most of you should be knowing C squared is 25 squared. You can check it on a calculator. 25 times 25 is 625. So square root of C squared is equal to square root of 25 squared. So C is equal to 25, just like that. Okay, let me do two more examples. Here, this is the hypotenuse. So you have to find A. So I'll ri write the Pythagoras theorem like this. A squared plus 11 squared is equal to 61 squared. Okay. So same thing, a squared plus 11 squared is 61 squared. So I may need a calculator to find. So I know the square of 11 is 121 is equal to, let me get a calculator out. So 61 squared, I know it should be more than 3600. So 3721. Okay, so that is 37, 3721. So if I take away... If I want to get rid of this 121, I have to take away 121 from this side. 
So I do the same thing on the other side. If in when you're solving an equation, you do it's a balancing act. <coughs> so let me bring back my red color. So this is a squared because this and this gets cancelled. Plus 121 and minus 121 gets cancelled. So this is this is zero zero. 3600 okay this is simple so 3600 so a squared or square root of a squared is square root of 60 squared just like that so a is equal to 60 okay if you are not allowed to use a calculator you can multiply 61 times 61 you will get this okay now yeah <coughs> let me use a blue color now so I'll write now 9 squared plus b squared is equal to 41 squared. I'll do without the calculator now, yeah? So it is 81 plus b squared is equal to, uh, I'll do in a different way, 40 plus 1 squared. Okay, so I don't want to use a calculator. So this is 81 plus b squared. Now you should be knowing the formula of, or let, let us do like this, 40 plus 1 times 40 plus 1. Okay, so this is a bit of practice of numbers. So this is 81 plus b squared. You have to expand. 40 times 40 is 1600. Plus 40 times 1 is 40. Plus 1 times 40 is 40. Plus 1. It's exciting, isn't it? So this is 81 plus b squared so this is 1681 am i right 1681 okay so there we go so now i want to get rid of this uh, 81 so i'm going to take away 81 from this side so to take away 81 from this side so let me change color now so this and this gets cancelled so this is b squared is equal to 1600 so now square root of b squared is equal to square root of 40 squared hmm? so b is equal to 40 okay well done for listening and you can give yourself five stars if you have understood the whole video see you in the next video